move an adventure, an adventure I tell you, an adventure. Adventure games let you wander around from room to room, exploring as you go. Now I've explained before that you can write adventure games in any programming language. Here I want to give you an example to show you how to get started using ActionScript to program a game using Adobe's Flash. Now this is my game. It's very simple, it just has a map of connected rooms. First I create a room class and you can see that here. And each room has a name and it has four directions. North, south, east and west. In a previous video I showed how to create a map as a simple array with the exits of each room being integers so that in order to move from one room to another I had to find an exit and use the integer that was referencing that exit to locate a room at a given index in the array. Now in this game I'm being a bit smarter. I'm actually putting room objects by name at each exit so I don't need a map array at all. Look, here's the game. I create the room objects up here and at that point they're not initialized and then later on I initialize the room objects with the data so they have a name and then the exits north, south, west and east. Now each of these exits is actually a reference to a room. It points to an actual room object. So when I move to a room at a given exit I just find the room object at that exit and I update the game player's position that's here, and that just moves to a new room. It points the player to a new room. So, for example, the Crystal Dome is at the south exit from the cave. Let me run the program, and I'm in the cave. I click south, and sure enough, I've moved into the Crystal Dome. Now, I've designed the user interface for this game using my company's uh, product for action script development, Sapphire Steel Software's Visual Studio environment called Amethyst. And you can see here's the designer and I can drag and drop buttons and move and align them. And that's how I've gone about creating the user interface. Now, if you're using some other tool, some other editor or IDE, you might have to define the user interface in code, in action script code. And this is an example of the sort of thing that you'd have to do where you create each object, each component, such as a text area and a button, and set various properties, height, width, label, and so on, and add an event listener to deal with mouse click events. Now, to see how these rooms really connect to one another, that they're not just references, they're not just indexes into an array, but actually point to other rooms, I'm going to use the Amethyst Debugger. So I've already set a breakpoint, and when I click south, that should be hit, and up pops some debugging information. Now let's have a look at this variable. That's new room. That's the room I've just moved into. And using the debugger, I can drill down, and I see it's got references. It's got rooms at other directions, east, north, and I can carry on drilling down to find room after room at each of those directions. So each time I use the debugger to look at an exit, I am actually getting a reference to the room object that is pointed to at that exit in my code. For more information on this project, see the video description down below. And to keep up to date with videos on programming and more in a variety of different programming languages, be sure to subscribe to the Bitwise Courses channel.